What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Is there anyone in this year's Arnold Classic lineup who has a better back than Nick Walker? Or I would rather say a better back double bicep than Nick. The density and the thickness in the upper back and those thick hamstrings altogether that is a very dominant shot for Nick Walker. The other big advantage Nick has is that how thin his skin gets when he is close to the show. I'm sure most of you guys already know that it is called see-through skin and it is mostly determined by genetics. And Nick Walker is extremely gifted in this area. So 15 days out, Nick is looking so ready and so dry. If you guys remember, Nick Walker started his Olympia prep last year very early, roughly 20 weeks out, with his former coach. But things didn't quite work out between those two. So at 10 weeks out, he got back together with Matt Jensen. And they did a phenomenal job in that short time. Because Matt Jensen knows Nick's body more than anyone. And even with a long prep, Everything seems to be clicking extremely well for Nick. And Matt is in a difficult position as a coach for the first time during his career. Two of his elite athletes are fighting for the top spot. And both of them 100% believe that they can win this show in two weeks. I think Sean Kirida is the only one guy who can give Nick Walker a run for his money when it comes to the back double bicep shot. Sean looks just as ready as Nick Walker. And when it comes to all around peak, there is no chance Sean will miss because he never does. The one thing that Sean has over Nick and the other guys is the muscle maturity and the density factor. Him along with William Bonac are 40 years old, the oldest guys in this lineup. Justin Rodriguez's updates have been very impressive during the last few days, especially the variation of the most muscular that he is hitting in the B slide. That looks very complete on his physique. I don't know what the protocol he is running right now. But him and his coach have done a splendid job during this prep. And even at the Olympia, Justin looked much better than Legion Sports. And even though he was placed 15th, he still beat quite a lot of guys like Aki Williams, Shaban, Antoine and James Hollingshead. Talking about Aki Williams, he has also been looking the best he has ever looked in the last two years. But there has been too many times when he spills over on the day of the show. I really hope he can bring something similar or even better than the Olympia 2020. Because even that Olympia package, even that will struggle today because of the diversity of the Arnold Classic lineup. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.